Hi everyone, my name is Chad Kotner and I'm a research manager here at Murphy Research. And my name is Brandon Barbieri, I'm a research associate here at Murphy. So now we're going to tell you all about a few common misperceptions when it comes to statistical significance testing. Brandon? First of all, um, probability is not absolute. Uh, if you have a p-value of 0 0.04, um, that doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% correct. You have a 4% chance of error. Also, significance doesn't always equal importance. Uh, in statistics, you're going to you know, identify your significant differences, but those differences aren't always useful to you or your business. So third, confidence intervals are not the same as statistical significance testing. Some people think that you can look at confidence intervals and determine whether or not something is statistically significant. However, non-overlapping confidence intervals are always statistically significant. However, the inverse of that is not always true. And lastly, Bigger isn't always better when it comes to sample size. So if you wind up with a sample that's too large, you may wind up with a lot of noise in your data set and you'll see small differences that may pop as statistically significant. However, those differences may not be useful to you or your business. So what are some of the other misconceptions that you all have come across when it comes to statistics? Let us know in the comments section below.